Hey everyone and welcome back with me for another video blog. I'm glad you're watching this one. I am in South Korea, Seoul and I'm staying here for a month to do three weeks of heavy training and then one week of tournament ISF Grand Finals. Today I experienced my very first day of playing on the Korean SC2 ladder and it was amazing. I'd like to take you through my day, tell you how I felt, what I did and uh, basically what happened today. So I, uh, I took a bus ride today to go to the OGS Team Liquid House. They were kind enough to uh, allow me to train there. Um, uh, it was about 35 minutes travel there, not too far. And I found the place all right, thanks to uh, Jinro's explanations. It was uh, very well explained, good job. Another hidden talent uh, of Jinro. Um, so, and then I got to the place, it was on the 14th floor. And, uh, well, who did I meet? I met uh, Jinro straight away. I guess he knew I was coming, so he met me at the door. And then I was just kind of introduced to everyone. I saw OGS Lovesick, MC, Inca. I didn't see Cezanne, but he was there as well. OGS The Wind, um, and, and a bunch more players. Uh, I even played a game and against OGS Vines, but I don't think I met him. But anyway, um, their team house. It's the first time I was in a Korean pro uh, team house. I had never been for Warcraft 3 or Starcraft 1 or Starcraft 2. Um, I did see some from the Artosis video series, which, uh, which was pretty intriguing. But this is my first time in one. And they have a sweet place, a real nerd Valhalla. They had like two to three gaming rooms, three restrooms, uh, a big kitchen. Uh, they had like three bedrooms with 10 bunk beds, so a total of 20 players could be accommodated uh, to sleep there. And uh, a lot, of course lots of clickety clickety clack, lots of uh, PCs and players playing everywhere. And uh, so I was able to borrow one of uh, Hux and uh, Heroes PCs, because they're at, uh, they're at the Dream Act Valencia Invitational right now. Today is Friday the 16th of September. And uh, I found myself situated in between OGS MC and OGS Inca. Talk about some sick Protoss vibes flowing into me. Um, so I set my stuff up and I got, you know, I, I plugged my stuff in and uh, I borrowed an account and I started playing. Uh, wow, what an experience. I mean, I knew kind of what it's like to play on the Korean server compared to. Europe or North America from my Warcraft 3 days. I've stayed here before in Incheon uh, for three months to do some training for Warcraft 3. And the difference, it's almost like night and day. I mean, I don't want to disrespect any of the European uh, players or realm. I mean, I'm European myself, same with North America. There are so many excellent players. Uh, however, there's just like um, a very easy to put your finger on difference when you start playing on on the ladder. Um, there's a huge difference in aggression in, in what they want to let you get away with um, in, in strategies and, and play styles and uh, micro, oh god. I mean I'm a player who's probably known more for his micro than his macro. I'm trying to improve both of course but coming from a Warcraft 3 background and, and even then I was um, I like precise stuff, like I'm kind of a detailed person, so the micro always sat well with me. But I noticed here, I, I can't just get away with bad stuff because of micro anymore. So it's really rather interesting and I'm happy with it because it means that I have to improve my micro more. Um, I, I played a couple of ladder games, it went quite well at first. I won like three games and I lost four. Um, it's of course my first playing day since uh, a couple of days because I just traveled to Korea. Um, I arrived here on Wednesday and it's Friday today so I had two days to kind of adjust to um, the schedule and get situated and uh, basically get my bearings so today was the first day of, of playing that I did. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, was pre it start started pretty nice, it was difficult. Um, I, I met some Terran 111 strats, um, yeah, they're good. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's imbalanced, but uh, I mean a lot of people say it is. I don't think it is at all. Um, but it is very uh, nice to play against people who do it really uh, perfectly. Like the same Banshee in a 1-1-1 strat from a Korean Terran does so much more than 
uh, the regular Banshee that I face. The same Helions do more than uh, other Helions I face. So it, 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 they kind of get the most out of everything and it's so nice to to play that. I mean, pro gaming is pretty much what my life is about uh, professionally. Um, well, it is. <laughs> and uh, it is my passion and it has been for a long time and instead of feeling like it's um, like it's shitty when I have difficult matches. It's the opposite, right? I mean, you you learn a lot. Um, I love getting smacked here. There's no doubt about it. And I know that I will learn the most from it like that. And I really respect uh, the way they play. I always had this idea that in a Korean pro team house, there would be like a cowbell ringing and all 15 or 20 of them or whatever would go sit around the table and, and eat. And there'll be a cook and she's serving everyone. Um, that's not how it was here. The players went to eat probably in like pockets of three or four. Um, they had food in the refrigerator probably which a cook prepared uh, previously. And then they would eat together and so I asked General if he wanted some sandwiches which my wife made and he was like yeah sure so we ate the sandwiches. He said it's really nice. They were a little spicy and a little bit of I guess of a touch of western food because he's been in uh, Korea quite long. It was nice and uh, then we hang out a little, we talk a little about you know my first imp impressions on the Korean ladder and um, about him and his code A spot that he um, that he gave up because he wants to earn it and uh, really respect that by the way I, I think it's uh, I think it's a cool decision uh, but yeah then we talked a little and we went back to play um, he, he went AFK during his live stream so he kind of forgot about that and uh, then I went back to play. Sometimes I looked out of the corner of my eye to see what MC was doing or what Inca was doing. Yeah, and then I had more games and probably the sickest, the sickest game I had, not because it was close but because of who I was facing. Uh, I'm, I got a game against Nesty and I, I was just thinking like, oh god, where do I start? <laughs> like how do I start about wrapping this game up uh, as a win and yeah I mean I, ha I had some fights where I thought that didn't go so bad did it but I, I checked the replay and there were like periods where he created 20 drones at once because he knows he can do that at that time and then he would get enough units uh, whenever I was ready for aggression um, by theory crafting watching the replay I could win but uh, it's a totally different thing when you're playing against him so um, really nice really sick and yeah then at some point I had to go home because the last bus was going probably around midnight so um, yeah, I bade my goodbyes to everyone and the wind was really nice I mean he um, he said I should bring my wife tomorrow because he thought like oh she, she, she at the hotel alone just bring her uh, sometimes girlfriends for the players they come by they, they eat with us or you know they have some fun so really nice and relaxing atmosphere there was definitely discipline and a lot of games. I mean I saw them crunching out uh, games, practice games, ladder games, but there was also a, yeah, a relaxed family feeling and um, they were very friendly all of them to me. MC helped me to find out when my last bus is going like he solicited it, he just started searching for me uh, which was really nice and uh, yeah then uh, when, when I was about to go, the wind, he called like two guys, I think it was Lovesick, or just Lovesick and one more. And they started walking with me, so I was like, are you guys going home too? And, and the wind said like, no, no, um, we come together with you to the bus. And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> you don't have to do that, because, uh, you know, I'll probably be fine. Well, knowing me, I'll probably get lost, but <laughs> eventually I'll find my way. Uh, but he's like, no, today is your first day here, so uh, we'll walk with you. And I was like, wow, this is really friendly. And we just missed the bus, so uh, we had to wait for 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I got it from here. He's like, no, no, we'll wait here together. And the players and the wind and me, we talked a bit. So I was like, wow, they're you know they're really they're really good guys. Um, yeah, I talked to the wind for a while about foreign tournaments, about you know code A, um, I don't know anything under the sun which we were able to talk about things StarCraft, right? And then eventually I, I took the bus back, got home, uh, ate dinner, and uh, here I am recording the video. So um, 
Uh, oh yeah, and on the bus back, and it was nice because I got like 20 minutes to reflect on the day's progress and I really felt like it was a very productive day. Like I wrote down stuff about what I learned, about basically the styles, how the Terrans are playing, the Zergs, the Protosses, and then I made a training, training plan for uh, tomorrow. And I don't remember the last time I did that in, uh, in Europe because, uh, I don't know, I, when I play ladder and I, and I stream, I feel very motivated and pushed to uh, perform because I know people are watching. But sometimes when I play ladder in Europe, and uh, not all the games are like super challenging, so I don't always feel like I necessarily learned something rather than just trying to like increase finger speed and refine build orders. But here, um, every game you lose, you're like, oh, okay, you know, is that what they do or is that what they could do? And oh, I need to really increase my uh, my perfection, or I really need to reduce my margin of error. And you always know what you have to work on. So, um, yeah, I really felt energized by that, and yeah, on the bus back I made a training schedule for tomorrow, so I, I know what I gotta do. Always good to work goal-oriented for practice. And, uh, yeah, get, probably gonna sleep soon, uh, pretty bushed, tired, and tomorrow I'll be going earlier, and they know I'm coming, and uh, yeah, they said we're gonna like eat pizza or burgers together, uh, so that should be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, once again, thanks to OJSTL for letting me play there. You guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you uh, will be watching the next blog again um, for how my experiences of the Korean ladder are going and my trip here in Korea. So check them out. It, of course, you know the channel, youtube.com slash and uh, I bid you a good night. Bye-bye.